Don Mariuto's football career began at Miami High School, but he took the long road to the University of Miami, first attending the University of Florida. It took a phone call from Hurricane lineman and former Miami High teammate Charlie George to change his mind. I called the dorm and left a message. He called me back, and uh, uh, he was very unhappy, and he knew he had made a very bad mistake. He was so happy to get out of the University of Florida and transfer to Miami, he hitchhiked home that night. And uh, the following morning, we went in to see Coach Gus, who, uh, sorry he was unhappy at Florida, but glad to get him here. Once at Miami, Mariuto became a fixture on the offensive line, starting for three years at guard. Well, the fondest memory is he always did what he was supposed to do. When you told him to turn out the lights, he, when we had 11 o'clock curfew, the one thing he would do, he'd put a blanket up over his head, get a flashlight, and he'd study under the blanket. One of the backs Don blocked for was future Hurricanes athletic director, Harry Malio. Don carried himself as a true leader. The fact that he was selected captain by his teammates demonstrates the leadership ability that he had. And the fact also that he, uh, he contributed so greatly to our bowl games. In 1952, the Hurricanes beat Clemson in the Gator Bowl. Malios remembered. I happened to score twice in that game, but both times we scored were right up through the middle, which meant the guard and both uh, Don Mariuto, uh, Stitch Vary, and Arc Angeletti had to push that defensive line toward the goal line. Goal to go for Miami. Back to Gibson and his fullback throws over touchdown Miami. After his playing days were over, Don has continued to serve the university as a member of the Golden Cane Club, the Society of University Founders, and as past member of the university's board of trustees and chairman of the board's athletic advisory committee. He really never left the university because uh, in my coaching career, I was here during Don's playing days and through a lot of their playing days, but he never left us. And these are the kind of graduates we're always looking for. I'm sure Dr. Ash, Jack Harding, Andy Gustafson are looking down and smiling on Don Mariuto, and I say this with all humility, and I, they are saying thank you for a job well done, a true and loyal son of the orange, green, and white. Tonight, entering the UM Sports Hall of Fame, Don Mariuto.